the right honorable speaker of parliament, honorable Anita Annette among the chief justice of Uganda, the archbishop Bianco, the apostolic non show to Uganda, His Grace Paulo Semogere, the Archbishop of Kampala, and all archbishops. His Excellency Edward Sekandi, the former Vice President of Uganda, and the special envoy to the President, all cabinet ministers, state ministers, the lead of opposition in parliament, colleague members of parliament, His Majesty Rukirabasaija Oyo Nyimba, Kabamba Iguru, the King of Toro, Right Reverend Kunewa, the Bishop of Fort Porto Diocese, and other bishops present, the hosting bishop, all political leaders, traditional leaders, ladies and gentlemen. Before I read the president's speech, allow me to inform you that uh, as we are going on with prayers, there was a lot of noise and music around us. So I used my powers to stop them. And this will not happen again. People come here to pray, not to listen to music. And this nonsense will not, will not come again. Let me now go to the president's speech. A greetings, people of God. Congratulations on reaching the Matters Day of 2022. I thank you for the support you gave government during the time when we were fighting COVID-19 especially from the church leaders and you, the people of Uganda. The NRM government participated, supported the Matters Day for the first time in 1986. I did not remember still the Matters Day in that big way before, except when the Pope visited Uganda in 1969. On that first celebration, I remember, you know, Tomuto of Rome representing the Pope and both the Cardinal Rugambwa of Tanzania and our own Cardinal Subuga were there. Since that time, we made, we made it a public holiday. We also observe Nyerere Day on the fact of June. The Matters Day shows the resistance potential among the people of Uganda. These young people and some HD Ugandans resisted. resisted the ignorance and the corruption of Kabaka Mwanga, who was cruel fighting new ideas about God and society. Whatever views Mwanga had on the new religion, Christianity and Islam, he should not have used violence, especially the violence of killing people whose results are irreversible. Once again, 
I want to inform you that once heads are cut, they do not grow again. Kushevuka. Mwanga's violence failed to stop the growth of Christian church and the Muslim faith. We praise God for that because the new religions were further classifying the principles of, go of good conduct in the human race. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this. Love your neighbor as yourself. It says in the book of Mark, chapter 12, verses 30 to 31. Even if you do not look at the other aspects emphasized by the new religions of life and death, this teaching was a good therapy for mankind. It castigated atheism, not believing in God, and selfishness. Mwanga should not have used the violence 